treasure hunters, welcome to the beach house. We've got a special video for you guys today. Me and James and Corbin are getting ready to open up some of these beehives that we have here on Mr. E's mansion property. Okay, so we've got all sorts of fun stuff out here. We're getting ready to explore the whole yard, but first, today we're gonna open up these beehives and see how they're doing. You guys wanna see what's inside one of these bee boxes? Millions of bees. Let's go ahead and do it. This is the entrance reducer. I made the entrance a bit smaller so that on the cool nights it's easier for the bees to keep the inside of the hive warm. But this is the fun part. So what does the smoke do boys? It makes them hide and they don't like it and it calms them down. It calms them down. So now we can come in here and look around without the bees being too upset. We don't want them to get angry and sting anybody. So well, let's... they can't really sting us because we have protective armor. That's right, we have protective armor. You, you want to show, Corbin, you want to show off your protective armor? Well, bees are happy with brighter colors than darker colors. Even though they are darker colors, but they still like brighter colors more than darker colors. So, the clothes that we have is what, like, it's more protective so they don't really. Do you know why bees like lighter colors instead of darker colors? Because, at, because they kind of fear darker colors because um, things come out at night. That's really good. And at night, things sometimes eat bees. That's right. So bees' natural predator is things like bears or skunks or other big, dark, furry animals. And so, their instinct says if it's dark, it's like, dangerous, you know? So when we wear white clothes, it, it doesn't appear as dangerous because there's not as many bright white creatures in the wild that they're afraid of. Does that make Especially sense? Especially if it's polar bears. Well, there's, there's no we, bees in the polar bear yeah, country. Yeah, we, <laughs> Polar bears don't live here, so they can't really fear colors. That's right. Okay. Honeycomb. This is the honeycomb, and here's all the bees working on the honeycomb. So, inside some of these cells right here, you can see what's like orange and yellow colored. That's pollen. And then in some of these cells, you see what looks like water. It's kind of shiny. And that's actually honey. And it's actually not water. That's right, it's not water, it's honey. It may look like water, but it's honey. That's exactly right. Man, that looks so good. This is a good looking frame. These are good bees here. Let's take a look at this next frame. All, almost all bees are girls. That's right. Did you guys hear that? James said almost all the bees that you can see here are girls. And the only ones that aren't girls don't have stingers. That's right, all the girls have a stinger. And what happens if a female bee stings? It puts venom into you. That's right, but what happens to the bee? Do you know? It, the stinger, stinger goes away. Off. The stinger comes off and the, and the bee dies. So, it's very... So it's always risking its life to hurt someone else. Yep, so the bees will only sting if they feel like the hive is threatened because they have no reason to sting someone that isn't threatening them. Because if they sting, then they die, and that doesn't make any sense. So they only do it to protect the whole family. 
So this is like their big family. All these bees are sisters. And they protect each other and they protect the queen and they protect the babies. Now on this frame, we're gonna see a lot of baby bees. If you look down in between these little cells, there's little baby bees. And there's the queen right there. She's walking all around. That's her. That's the queen bee. She doesn't look much bigger, but she's a little bit bigger. And she's got a bald back. Her thorax is bald. Versus the other worker bees where their thorax is fuzzy. She's walking all around. Oh, she just went to the other side. We're in the hive. Looking for a place where she can lay a new egg. So we're gonna put no, this, this back together. This right here, are they making a queen cell? Kind of looks like a queen cell. Should we take a look? Yeah. Let me get a closer look. Yes, it does. It looks like they have a couple of queen cells. Right here. It's kind of big and hanging down, and here's another one right there. Everybody's a little bit allergic, and that's why you get itchy and there's a red bump whenever you get stung. That's an allergic reaction. But some people are very allergic so that their whole body will swell up and their throat will close and then they can't breathe and they die. That's a severe allergy. But that's it's quite uncommon. Right now my fingers are all covered in this orange sticky sticky glue. The bees use this glue to hold the hive all together. It just protects it from falling apart if, it, if it's ever windy. And they, they use it to seal up holes so critters and other creatures that might want to steal the honey can't get in. So all those orange-capped cells have a larva growing in the pupa stage that will become an adult when it hatches. And if you look in between some of the cells that are not capped, you'll see little baby grubs. Those are baby larva, baby bees, just starting to grow. And now I'm in this patch right here. They are very tiny. Can you see them? Um, can't quite tell. The eggs are like little tiny grains of rice. That's what they look like. Look at these adult bees hatching from the cells. Did you see them? They don't like it yeah. when you're in front of the hive. Yep, don't stand in front of the hive, James. Do you see how 
how there's little baby bees and brood and larvae in the center, and then on the outside, around the corners, around the edges, there's honey. It's kind of in a circular pattern. It's pretty cool, huh? Each one of these colonies has one queen, and I'd estimate probably 15 or 20,000 bees right now. So what's the difference between the queen and all the female workers? So the queen can lay eggs. All the other female workers cannot lay eggs. They're basically like little girls that are not mature, whereas the queen is like a mature woman, all grown up and able to reproduce. The other worker females cannot reproduce. And also, the queen bee has a longer tail than the female. Yep, it's called an abdomen. It's just so cool when it cracks apart the honeycomb sometimes when it's used. Take a look at this brood pattern brood are the baby bees and all these capped cells, that's thousands of bees that are, will be hatching over the next couple of days. Absolutely beautiful. Got a good queen in this colony. She's laying very well. Hey, get a load of that. Do you guys see that, that bee right there? See how he looks a little bit fatter than the other ones? Look at that bee with the pollen on its legs. That one has pollen that it's gathered from flowers. That bee right there has pollen on its uh, legs. It has little sacs that gather the pollen. And when you see bees landing on flowers, going from flower to flower, they're gathering pollen. And look at all these cells. They're full of this bright yellow pollen. Whoa. Pollen is full of protein. There's a male bee. That big fat one right there, yeah. that's a drone. Also, a male bee. He has no stinger, and he does no work. He's just a lazy big boy. He's just a lazy big boy. That's right. He just walks around every day. That's right. Yep. But that's not like Dad, right? <laughs> guys also work hard. We're doing our job. Everybody helps out, pitches in, don't they? And almost... Our house, our house is kind of like a beehive. That's everybody works hard, everybody pitches in, everybody has their own jobs. Everybody tries to get food. Uh-huh. And, and Becca lays all the babies. <laughs> She's the queen. That's right. And Dad's the and I'm the king, and we all work together, and everybody contributes. And Charlie is the prince. And Corbin, <laughs> you're a prince, and James is a prince. Everybody works together very hard, huh? That's pretty cool. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into the Beach House. I hope you guys loved learning about bees and the golden treasure. Did you guys see the golden treasure inside these hives? Let us know in the comments below if you saw golden treasure inside these hives, hidden and guarded by thousands of stinging bees protecting the golden treasure. You guys know what it is? Don't say it if you know it. You know, what it is? you know it? Let us know in the comments below if you saw the golden treasure. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys love learning about bees. I love beekeeping. I'm so passionate about it. And let us know if you want to see more bee videos. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.